Welcome back to this Bytes for You. So you just bought the Sapphire Radeon Nitro RX 6800 card and you can't wait to use it, but the big problem is how do you get it in there, right? Don't worry guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to install the Sapphire Radeon Nitro RX 6800 inside of your system, how to clean up your system from all the other older drivers, why it's incredibly important, and then how to also remove the old video card. So let's get started. All right, so before we can actually take the card out, we need to do a little system cleanup. So first off, we're going to go ahead and download a few things. So we're going to open up a browser and go to wagnardsoft.com. And then we're going to go ahead and click right over here on the display driver uninstaller. You might be, you might have a new version by the time you get here, but so regardless, you scroll down a little bit, you click official download here. Okay, cool. It's downloaded that. And now we'll go to amd.com. Then we'll click on drivers and support. Scroll down a little bit as well. Make sure you're on graphics right over here. Then we'll click on Radeon 6000 series, AMD Radeon 6800 and AMD Radeon RX 6800 and we'll click submit. Okay, then find out which operating system you have and then click on it. And then we'll go ahead and download the latest and greatest version. Now, one very important thing before you get started gaming, after you've installed everything, one very important thing you want to do, maybe after you've done all this, so it's fresh in your mind, is on this page where you downloaded the driver, click on the release notes. And here they're going to tell you a lot of the things they fixed, a lot of the known issues. And then in all of this, they're also going to have a lot of information. If you run into this issue, this is what you can do to bypass it. So that's going to definitely help out a lot but anyway let's keep going so now i'm going to go ahead and close everything and so now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and boot into safe mode i'm going to explain towards the end of the video exactly why i do this cleanup portion but stick with me on this okay so now to get to safe mode we hold down the left shift key then we right click on the start button hover over shutdown or sign out and then we click restart Okay, now on this screen, we'll go ahead and click Troubleshoot, then click Advanced Options, Startup Settings, and then here we'll go ahead and click Restart to restart in safe mode. All right, so here now we're going to go ahead and press the number four to enable safe mode. All right, now just remember, this is going to look horrible, but it's because there are no drivers whatsoever, no sound, no video, no nothing. Nothing's running, okay? So that gives us the perfect environment to actually uninstall the previous drivers to install the newer drivers. Okay, so now we'll go to wherever we downloaded DDU. Go ahead, double click on it, click run. And I'm going to go ahead and install it onto the root of the drive, DDU, and then click extract. Okay, it's a quick extraction. So now we'll go to the C drive and to DDU and we'll go into this directory and double click on display driver uninstaller. Okay, seems to be the first time you launched DDU. Okay, I'm just going to skip that for now and resize this window, it's too big. Okay, so now the card I have in there now is an NVIDIA card. Okay, so I'm going to just select everything for NVIDIA. Now, if you had an AMD card, you probably want to leave the way it is right on this screen. Now make sure there's a check down here, prevent downloads of drivers from Windows updates when Windows search for a driver for a device. That's incredibly important because once you install your card, Windows is going to detect it and say, hey, I know the perfect driver for you. Let me go ahead and download it. So the issue you're going to run into is not only is Windows going to install its own driver, kind of make the, making this process pointless, but is also going to cause an issue when you go to install your own driver and it's doing its thing, it's not going to let you install. So the reason you don't want Windows to install its own driver is it is an AMD driver, but it's an older driver. And then which could have potential driver issues. So don't ever let Windows decide your driver for you. All right, so with that said, we'll go ahead and click, and again, make sure there's a check here. We'll click close. And then over here where it says select device type, 
we'll go to GPU. Again, I had an Nvidia card, so we'll just leave that Nvidia. And then over here, we're going to do a clean and shutdown. Because now what we're going to do is we're going to uninstall the driver, shut down the machine, and then we're going to remove the old card, then put the new card in. Okay, so clean and shut down. Now, the reason DDU is awesome is because not only does it delete the driver, but it deletes the registry, any registry entry, and it deletes all of the folders and everything that NVIDIA or AMD might leave behind that can potentially cause issues in the future. All right, now that we're done there, let's get in the machine. Hold on. Before you actually touch that video card or touch the inside of your case, as I was editing the video, one very important thing I realized I didn't do. I didn't tell you to ground yourself. So if you don't have an ESD wristband or an anklet or whatever you may use, make sure to go ahead and ground yourself by touching the inside of the case. That is going to go ahead and make sure that you don't have any kind of ESD in your body. And if anywhere during this install you have the need to get out grab a drink or do whatever, and you come back, touch it again, make sure you're grounded. You don't wanna zap that brand new video card. All right, now that we've removed the side panel, the first thing we're going to want to do is flick the switch on the power supply that gets rid of all of the power to the system. At times when you're playing in the system, removing a card or putting it in, the system might turn on and you definitely don't want that to happen while you're installing it. So now the next thing we're going to do after we flick the power on the power supply is we're going to want to remove the PCIe power connections. All right, so in order to remove these connections, there's a little clip locking the PCIe cable in place. For Nvidia cards, the clip is on the bottom, and for AMD cards, the clip is on the top. So let me zoom, zoom in a little bit closer so you could see that. Okay, so then right over here, I'll just move this up a little bit. We'll find that little clip. So we just push that little clip up. You see how it comes up over here? And just now pull the PCIe connection out. Now for this card, it has three connections. So we're just going to go ahead and repeat that process. Okay, so now we'll just slide these aside for right now. We also have a retention mechanism here, just keeping the card from sagging. So I'm going to go ahead and just slide it out. Okay, and we're going to go ahead and use that on the 6800 as well. Now coming over here, now that the cables are out of the way, we're going to go ahead and unscrew the video card over here. Okay, now with the video card unscrewed over here, we can't just pull the video card out. You might end up damaging the motherboard, pulling the PCIe slot out of the motherboard, or even worse. So right over here, and it could be different on your motherboard, but right over here, there's a little locking mechanism, and let me zoom in so you can see that. Okay, that piece of plastic, we need to push that in for the card to slide out. So the card doesn't fall out of the slot. I have my hand right under it. Just holding the card in place. Now with a screwdriver or your fingertip, if you can hit that far back, you're going to, again, holding the video card so it doesn't fall, push that in. That goes ahead and releases the video card from that retention mechanism, and then you can easily pull the card out. Now, if it gets stuck, if you can't pull it out after you've done that, what you're going to need to do is push the card back in. You'll notice that little retention me mechanism just pop right back up. Push it in as much as you can, and then hold it on the bottom again so it doesn't fall, and now push that in again. At times, it could get locked up, and at this point, just pull it out. Okay, and now that the previous card is out, we're going to go ahead and slide in the new video card. Okay, so we'll just grab it here. Now we'll align this right over here with these open PCIe slots right over here. And we'll just slide it into the PCIe slot and push it in and you'll notice that locking mechanism snap into place. Don't worry, I'm going to zoom in a little bit more in a second. All right, 
So the card is installed. So let me zoom in a little bit more. I'm going to show you that a little bit closer up so you can see exactly what I did. Okay, again, I'm holding the card in place, popping this retention mechanism in, unlocking the card. So it just comes right out. And now these gold pins right over here, they're going to align right in this slot. So right there. And again, just notice that little locking mechanism there. It's going to pop out. Then we just lock it right in place. And there you've installed your video card. So we need to connect the PCIe power cables, but before we do that, so we don't move the card around, we're going to go ahead and just screw the card back into where we had it screwed in before. Okay, now if you remember, we had the locking mechanism down at the very bottom. And if you remember, I mentioned on AMD, the locking retention is at the very top. These are the little clips that that locks into. So now, instead of the cable being like this, we're going to go ahead and flip it over so that this little clamp is at the very top. Okay, and so then we grab that eight pin PCIe cable slide it into place. It's not always easy. And that just locks it into place. Let me show you a little bit closer how that locks into place. Okay, now we have it in. And this is just going to pop up and right back down. All right, so now the card's locked into place. And it's okay what I'm doing here since the card is locked into place with the PCIe retention and the screws over on the left. Now, in case you are interested in that anti-sag bracket, we're just going to go ahead and slide it in and it is adjustable. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead, just unscrew this here. And now that's under the video card. Just make sure you're not hitting a fan and you see how I'm pushing it up a little bit, just getting it perfect. You might want to get a level and just make sure it's perfectly straight. And then once you have it straight, We'll just go ahead and screw that in. And that card's not going anywhere now. Pardon my mess back here, but now we're going to go ahead and plug in the HDMI cable into the video card. Okay, so that's plugged in. And now remember, we turned off the power supply, so just flick it back on and let's get started. All right, so now with everything plugged in, let's go ahead and turn around for the first time. And okay, now that we're in Windows, everything looks really horrible because there are no drivers. So let's go ahead and install the drivers real quick. Okay, so now we're going to go into File Explorer. We'll go to wherever we downloaded those drivers to and double click on the Radeon Software Adrenaline. And leave it like this if you want to or change it and click Install. Okay, and even though we've already removed everything, I like to do this as a precaution, factory reset, that goes ahead and removes all the old drivers, kind of like we did with DDU, but not as invasive, I guess I could say, like DDU is. This is just to double make sure. So we'll click install here. Now that's going to go ahead and ask to restart your computer. And restart now. All right, now that it's back in Windows, it'll pick up where it left off with the install. All right, so it is installed. So just to make sure whenever a program asks you to reset, just go ahead and reset. It only takes a few seconds. Uncheck this guy and restart. All right, so now that we're back in Windows, we can right click on the background, AMD Radeon software. And this will happen quite a few times, unfortunately, but only the first time. All right, 
right, so then we'll, we can do the quick setup, but I'll go ahead and skip this. And so the Adrenaline software is pretty awesome. It's got just about everything you need right in the software. So under home, you have the last game you played, your recent games, you can look for more games right over here. It tells you your driver version, and if you wanna check for a newer one, you just click here. Device status, upgrade advisor, screenshot, record a video, instant replay, instant GIF, gaming, all the games you have, and then you can set some settings in the games from here, different media, compatibility, streaming, scene editor, performance. Here we can also see the temperature of the card, the clock speed, power consumption, current temperature, junction temperature, fan speed, your VRAM information, utilization, CPU, RAM, all that good stuff. Tuning, here is where you can overclock your card, you can make the fan faster, the fan slower, set up your own custom fan profile, and then advisor. We've covered a whole lot in this video. I've shown you how to get rid of your old drivers. I've shown you how to remove your old video card, how to pop in the new video card, how to make all the connections, where to connect everything, turning it back on, and installing the drivers. Now, DDU, to me is incredibly important. You might have a lot of people that you know that have all these weird issues with this video card and this video card blue screened and all this stuff. That doesn't happen to me. Not because I'm a genius, I'm an expert, no. I use DDU to wipe all of the old drivers. Even when a brand new driver comes out on a current video card I'm using, I use DDU, I don't use any kind of AMD Radeon uninstaller, like the Radeon cleaner. You can use that too, but I don't use the uninstaller that the Radeon software has installed there or for GeForce either. While you're in regular Windows mode, even with the factory reset, you saw me doing everything, but while you're in regular Windows mode, Windows is holding on to those drivers. Now those drivers do a decent job of letting go of that so that it can uninstall itself but it does, doesn't always do a good job. Also, when you uninstall, just any like any program, uninstall it, go back and look where it was installed before. You're probably gonna find that folder there. That happens as well with drivers. It leaves the folders, it leaves the mess, it leaves stuff in the registry so that when you install a new driver, sometimes it can't override that. Or sometimes it might still make reference to that old thing, even though, you know, you uninstalled it properly, it's not there anymore, it doesn't matter, it might still do that. So you might get a blue screen, you might get a black screen, you might get a crash, you might get a ton of things. That is why I DDU. I don't ever have any of those issues. But I also showed you the little bracket I used to keep it from sagging. I bought that for the 3090, and so far it looks like it works great on the 6800. Now, because I took out the 3090 to pop in a 680, or 6800, sorry, it doesn't mean the 6800's better. It doesn't mean the 3090 is worse. I'm just giving you an example of how to remove your old video card, no matter what it was, and how to pop in a brand new video card. And then that anti-sag bracket is just going to keep your card from sagging sagging card can potentially have a few bad side effects aside from the card just looking limp. So when a card sags, it puts a lot of pressure on that PCIe slot. It could end up bending your board. It could end up breaking that PCIe uh, slot out of the socket. It could also bend some traces on your motherboard. So things you definitely don't want to happen. That bracket was like 12 bucks. Now, as my readers or my viewers have said, you can put up some Legos uh, or you can make your own. The anti-sag bracket is the quickest way aside, you know, you have to wait a day or so for Amazon. But if you don't have a whole lot of time on your hands, perfect. You saw me unscrew it, put it perfectly, screw it, done. So anyway, my two cents on DDU and the anti-sag bracket. I make these videos to help you find confidence in doing this. This is scary if you don't know how to do it. Super scary. 
We've all been at that point that I'm scared. I don't know what to do. We've all been there. No matter how elite you are or how much of a pro you are, you at one point didn't know how to do that. So I'm helping those of you that don't know how to do that. And maybe even some of you that do know how to do that. Maybe a different way of doing things that might help you. If you have any suggestions, maybe something I did wrong, go ahead and leave them down in the comments below. Let me know if I've helped you. And if you wanna buy me a cup of coffee, that's always welcome. Links down in the description below for everything in the system, the SAG bracket, the video card, the motherboard, the memory, blah, 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 all that stuff. And even the buy me a coffee link. So anyway, this is Iggy with this bites for you, helping you install the RX 6800, giving you the confidence if you've never done it before, trying to help everybody out. All right, guys, Iggy out. See you guys.